I did not know that fossil porn was a thing, but now that I do, you know I'm gonna talk about it. Anthony here for D News, and finding a perfectly preserved fossil of an unknown species is always a major scientific coup, because usually things are only partially fossilized, and it takes a lot of work to piece together exactly what's going on. But you know what's even better than finding a fossil of an unknown species? Finding a sexy fossil of an unknown species. Check this out. It's two Anthoskytina perpetua doing it. Yeah, that's the guy on the right, and he's... These two fossilized lovers lived about 165 million years ago, and they died the way they lived their lives, passionately. The Chinese researchers that found the fossil got the name from the Latin word perpet, which means eternal love. It's believed that they died during a volcanic eruption in northeastern China. They're the ancestors of modern insects called frog hoppers, which mate face to face while holding a twig. So, how is this useful? other than making me giggle. Well, we've only found 33 fossils of insects caught in the act throughout all of history, and this is the earliest one. Having a clear picture of how insects mated and where their sexy bits were that far back in time helps us figure out more about the entire chain of insect evolution. And while some fossils are clearing up the act of love for us, others found recently are just complicating things. Researchers in South Dakota recently uncovered some fossils of the Dakota Cancer ovaranus, a tiny, teeny little crab about the size of a quarter that lived in the area about 68 million years ago. Not uncommon, about 2,500 of them have been found since the 70s. The perplexing part is that about 1% of the population seems to be intersex. They don't fit into either the male or female category. And that's pretty high. It normally occurs about 0.1% of the time in humans and other animals. And the researchers can't figure out why it's abnormally high in these particular crabs, but current theories include a contaminant in the water or, super spookily, parasitic barnacles that were able to latch onto baby male crabs and disrupt their hormones, causing them to express a mix of both sexes. Sexy fossil mysteries, you guys. I think all science is improved with the addition of sexy mysteries. Next week, sexy quantum entanglement. Oh, uh, hey, by the way, before we go, you guys ask a lot where we get our shirts. This particular one is from LootCrate.com. Loot Crate, for 20 bucks a month, sends you this awesome box of toys and fun things and t-shirts. And if you go to LootCrate.com slash DNews, you can sign up and help out the show. So go check that out and get some of the shirts that we wear here on DNews.